friends are oriented by happiness. Your protagonists, your main characters, but also theirs. Therefore, if your character is about to take a decision which is unsuitable of her, which is hurtful for her, which is detrimental for her, a friend should stop her. That's the most antagonistic part of what a friend can do. Friends are sustainable relationships. And therefore, they should stop your protagonist only because they want to preserve this relationship, because they want to preserve this friendship in the long run. Every time a friend stops another character, every time a friend stops your main character, it is only because she wants to support her, because she wants to give her some time to find a better alternative, because she wants her to find a more suitable option. Friends are driven by happiness. Friends are driven by happiness. It is the key word here. Every time a friend acts for another character, even if she acts against this character, it is to preserve their relationship. Now, the sense of sustainability you'll find in friends is different from the sense of sustainability you'll find in mentors, in pupils, or in rivals. All antagonistic relationships, and to some extent for your story to be more cohesive, all relationship should have a certain degree of sustainability. Now, friends will offer you a different perspective. Since they are direct supporter of your character, they'll often have this function. No, they'll often be supporters. So they'll often be part of your character's team. So if your character, as we fold our standard model, is a rival, an advisor can be a friend. Uh, an enticer can be her friend and so all these characters these two characters here which are directly close to her will support her they will entice her when she needs to be enticed because she's lost motivation they will advise her because they've lost their ways again here by not being able to take the right decision so friends will often be part of your character's team they will be direct team members. They can be only friends in the short term according to your story's length. Meaning that the relationship from two characters, friend to friend, is durable. It's for your whole, uh, your whole story. But the friend may only appear in one episode. Doesn't mean that the friendship is broken. So friends are systematically acting in order to preserve the relationship, in order to preserve the friendship. Friends want to preserve their friendship. Friends want to preserve this kind of relationship. And they will act every time to do so. In times of crisis, they will stop your protagonist. They will stop her because she will put herself in a situation in which she may die, literally. But there are other types of crises. Maybe a crisis where the character is simply too excited for the situation. And in this case, her friend should be there to calm her. She should stop this excitement. She should temper this excitement. Because your character would if she continues to be as fervid as she is, put herself and eventually her team in danger. If your character is distraught, if your character has lost her ability to motivate herself, the friend should be here to stop the distraught. And that's where you realize that your characters whoever they are, whatever their function, their role, they're not really acting 
against other characters. They're acting against behaviors. They're acting against other actions. You know, actions leads to a reaction, but the reaction doesn't necessarily target the identity of a character. Here, the action of the friend targets the inappropriate action of your main character. So, if your character is distraught, a friend is supposed to stop her in a moment of despair by giving her hope. Now, the last case may be the most obvious case of stopping someone. Because it is the physical stop. The body to body. Now, your friend can fight you. Your friends can fight you. That's true in story. Your friends, your main character's friends, will oppose her physically, directly, with use of violence. If she, if your main character is acting in a way which is uh, here obviously not beneficial for herself, but which is also uh, a detriment for others, there, a true friend, a real supporter. And that's why you can combine the, the, the friend and the rival, really, uh, in terms of uh, in terms of antagonistic uh, function. The friend here will literally stop the main character. So, meaning that if she has to kill her, because now your main character has become someone who is willing to sacrifice other people, the friend should kill your main character. That's a role. She has now to end the relationship because she has decided to uh, to be friends with your character in the first place. So she has to end the life of this character. And this extends the role um, of friends to, to, to the level of family members when there's so much closeness between two characters that your character, your friend, should stop you by all means, because you're about to accomplish something which is not what you decided to do. If you enjoyed this content and want to know more on this topic, check our video on the 6 surefire way to create an antagonist.